Well, I apologize. I was hoping to show you a video of a Baofeng UV S9 tri band radio. <laughs> it came all damaged, like this thing was crushed in a couple different locations. See how it came from China. <sighs> Got it out. Speaker, you can barely hear any audio out of it on a high volume, but anyways, you know what we'll do? I got this from Kong Tone on Amazon. Seems to be the seller of these. We'll just open up and do a video anyways, and I'll show you its defect. <laughs> I tried to snap the uh, case back together, so it somewhat looks presentable, but uh, anyways, let's proceed. So here we go. They say professional qualities, user-friendly design, long communication range, noise reduction, battery safe circuit, scrambler. Again, I don't know why they put a scrambler. High capacity FM radio, long standby time. So here we are. Let's take a look at this. Comes with a radio. I've already had this out. I already programmed it, hoping that I could fix it. Not a bad looking radio, isn't it? They stick a little plastic in it so it doesn't decharge the battery. Just a little click there. Slide the battery off. Take the plastic off. Put the radio back together. Like I said, I have it programmed. So this comes with the owner's manual. I also opted to get the longer antenna. In this case, it's an Abri 2 meter 220 440 SMA female antenna that connects with this radio. And you can see it's a real one. It's got the washer for the spacer. Comes with a little single earpiece mic. Comes with our 2 meter 440 antenna, our 220 antenna. We have a wrist strap, a charging uh, wall wart, and the charging cup, which appear not to be damaged, thankfully. Let's get an antenna on this, and let's take a closer look at it. Okay, I don't know if you can see the blue light, AA1PR, coming through the side of the case. That's why I tried to push it back down. Volume's all the way up. Let me pause this. Let's get to a repeater where we can actually key it up and listen to the low audio. Okay, so here's the Killington 88 repeater. AA1PR testing. And that's the volume all the way up. Here how low that is. And plus you see the light coming in around the side there. So it's got the regular standard Belfang menu, even the beeps for being all the way up. That's all the way up. I can't turn it anymore. <laughs> I can barely hear it. Just like any Belfang UV5R, the same menu as the Belfang BF858S I reviewed. Let's get out of there. You know what? Let's try a speaker mic into it and see if the uh, audio improves. AA1PR testing. Good morning. Repeater. W1GMW repeater in left central. So even the audio coming out of the speaker mic, the volume turned all the way up, is really poor. The radio is just toast. Something got broken inside of it. Something's not right. Anyways, I don't know much more I can show you since we can't get a uh, loud enough audio to hear anything without putting this damn thing up to your ear. The speaker mic doesn't even improve the sound of it, so something's definitely defunct in it. Something happened to it while it was in transit. It definitely got smashed big time, so God only knows what happened to that, but... Uh, Anyways, I was hoping for better things, so maybe we'll just do a video testing the uh, Abri 2 meter 220 antenna out on uh, the other Belfang radio. 
Okay, maybe we'll do a, another video uh, SWR testing this thing. So, anyways, I wish I could show you more, but uh, unfortunately, uh, my luck is not such. If you buy one of these, I hope your mileage uh, is better. <laughs> uh, anyways, wish I could show you more. I had high hopes of going out making some repeaters and having some conversations, but nothing worse when you can't hear a repeater and seller argued with me. I had to show them videos and pictures of uh, the poor audio and uh, the screen where I had to push this thing back together and pop it in. Oh, it just popped in again. Um, <laughs> so something is wrong with it. Uh, something is bad. So <sighs> this is a problem. But the good thing about it was the seller was able to get it to me within four days from the time of purchase uh, through Priority Mail. So uh, for me to send this back to China... Uh, which could take two to three months was going to cost me $28.63. If I shipped a priority mail, it was going to be $40 and like 84 cents. So almost $29 what I paid for the radio to get it to me to send it back to them uh, or $40 express so I'd get my money back between them and Amazon for shipping. But then finally Amazon stepped in and said, we're just going to give you a refund. So anyways, good luck. 7-3, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell and notification for future videos. Please use our Amazon link for any and all purchases off Amazon. Our Bridgecom affiliate link for any amateur radio purchases over there. And if you want to support this channel, please do so on patreon.com forward slash simplyhandradio. Everybody be safe. 7-3.